One day earlier this month, I got zero sleep, bro. Almost zero sleep. Not sure why. I had a ginger beer. I don't think it was an energy drink as well as a beer, but maybe it was. It sucked because I had to work the next day. I'm not sure if I should get a bank account with Tangerine. Tangerine offers no monthly fees. Right now I'm being charged a monthly service fee. And if I don't keep a balance of $3,000 in my checking account, but I guess for some people, or I guess some people would say that I should have an emergency fund of about $3,000. And another benefit to having an emergency fund is that I would have, when, sorry, I wouldn't be charged a monthly service fee. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. Tangerine is offering a $500 sign up bonus, so it's hard to know what to do. The last video I made didn't perform well, in case you missed it. I was speaking in my normal voice. I wasn't speaking softly or whispering like I normally do. The average view duration for the video was 2 minutes and 42 seconds. Not good. I got all kinds of messages from YouTube saying uh, people who watch your channel aren't watching this video for as long <laughs> as they typically watch your other videos of similar or longer length and more. Uh, the problem with the low average view duration is that the lower the average view duration is, <laughs> Unless YouTube will recommend the video to others, um, getting you less views. Mm. Um, on all my other videos, I don't have mid-roll ads. That's mid-roll ads. Ads that are within the video. And so, you have the videos at the start and end of the video. Or sorry, the advertisements at the start and end of the video. Those aren't mid-roll ads. The mid-roll ads are like within the video. Um, if you don't have ads inside your video, it can lower your RPM. Google defines revenue per milli or RPM as a metric that represents how much money you've earned per 1,000 video views. RPM is based on several revenue sources, including ads, channel memberships, YouTube premium revenue, super chat, and super stickers. So, on my video where I was speaking normally, I put mid-roll ads in the video, thinking that I would get a high RPM from that. But even though I had mineral ads on the video where I spoke in my normal voice, my RPM was $3.42. Um, less than some of the videos that I have that have no ads within the videos. I think maybe next time I'll make a vlog ASMR style that has lots of videos within one video and the videos are of me doing things. I could shoot a video of myself making coffee, going for walks, writing a script for an ASMR video, and more. I would do a voiceover, whispering or speaking softly. And my phone, my camera is down to one uh, chunk of battery. One bar of battery, I guess you would call it. So I don't have too much battery. I hope this uh, camera doesn't go out of battery before I finish the video. Um, my video training day at resort is a bar role play with spring eating licorice gum chewing as an AP, uh, sorry, RPM of $8.82. I can't seem to talk today. Probably I keep on messing up on my words. Sorry about that. Um, 
so anyway that's a pretty good RPM I think I have other videos that only have RPMs of $1.70 about that so I just have to figure out how to get a high RPM I've been watching some videos on how to get high RPM revenue per milli for RPM some advertisements are willing to pay more money than others are so if your video is in a niche where advertisements are willing to pay a lot of money to show your viewers advertisements you will make a lot of money from those advertisements personally sorry personal finance and how to make YouTube channels are high RPM niches. I've heard that the video editing niche is eight to twelve dollars, quite high. In YouTube, in a YouTube video from Yuri Van Hofwagen, he says that some companies are willing to sell, are selling business courses for one thousand dollars and are making a six hundred dollar profit, a huge profit margin. These companies are willing to spend a lot of money on getting their advertisements in front of an audience who is interested in business. So if you're making YouTube videos in the business niche, you can make a lot of money that way. Now if a company is selling shampoo, this is what uh, Van Off Wagon says, they're profit margins are much smaller and therefore those companies are willing to spend that much money on people to advertise for them. Um, more, high, more high RPM new YouTube niches are the cryptocurrency niche, luxury niches, and the business documentary niche, um, YouTube automation, the uh, and um, also, yeah, YouTube automation luxury niche is when you show people the lifestyle of rich and famous people. YouTube automation would be if you outsource your work uh, for making YouTube videos. You could get other people to make YouTube videos for you. I think that's what that is. <laughs> Another high RPM niche is the personal finance or a finance niche. Van Hofwagen says you can make $20 RPMs from personal finance videos. So you can make videos in a high RPM niche by doing two, uh, two things. One is to of course make a video that's in a high RPM niche. And then the other is to put keywords of high RPM niches uh, in your title and description. I think the niche for making YouTube channels is also a high RPM niche. I think that I'm in a good spot as I like to make videos about making YouTube videos and making money. So I think those are pretty high RPM niches. One video that surprisingly has a high RPM is my video ASMR eating licorice soft spoken. YouTube goals work and it has an RPM of $7.95. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, um, uh, makes me think that the words YouTube goals uh, make sure a high RPM. On a video where I had 17,000 views, I only made about $38.31 from advertisements, as my RPM on that video is only $2.22. I did at least gain 68 subscribers from the video though. Then I have another video that has 5,216 views, but it has made me $41.55 in revenue from advertisements, as the RPM is $7.98. I think it's because it has the keywords YouTube goals in it. From looking at my videos and their RPMs, 
YRBM keywords might be YouTube membership, goals, jobs, YouTube goals, resort, training. RPM is something that I didn't really know about until about a month ago. <laughs> Luckily, uh, growing on YouTube and, and business and making money are topics that interest me, so it's not hard to come up with videos that have decent RPMs. Sometimes I feel a little sad when I go for long walks outside. I'm not sure what that is. I was watching a show called Hit and Run, but I didn't know what was going on really. It was a pretty good series though. I watched it on Netflix. I might be getting a new apartment. A lady who lives in my building said that she is looking for a two bedroom as she has a lot of stuff that she wants to put in a spare bedroom. I'm looking for a one bedroom as I'm in a two bedroom now and I don't have any roommates and I don't want any roommates so the extra room is not needed in my apartment. Also if I took her apartment I would be only paying $700 plus utilities per month. I'm paying $850 per month plus utilities in the apartment that I have now. And I don't make a lot of money. She said her electric bill was only between $70 and $80 per month too. Probably because she lives on the third floor. Heat rises. But the problem is that the other apartment might not have enough counter space for me. I saw the apartment the other day. Also, it's nice having a lot of space like I do. Another issue is that I would have to sign a new lease if I switched to her apartment. Right now, I'm in a one-year lease of about two months in. So, the thing is, my parents keep on asking me to come over for dinner. Like, every night that I'm not working in the night, they'll ask me to come over for dinner. and eat tea off. And it's like, I don't want to reject them. And I kind of, sometimes I kind of feel like if I'm coming over for dinner there all the time, why don't I just live there? But, I don't know, it's hard to say. Or maybe I should move somewhere away from them. I do appreciate them offering me dinners, but it's like, it's this constant thing. So, someone from my apartment building must have shoveled the snow out of my parking space in front of my car. That's really nice of them. So I work at a resort in my desk. The program that we use to make the key cards that guests scan on the electronic sensors on their doors of their hotel rooms wasn't working on one of our two computers that we use to make key cards with. So I was on the phone with tech support trying to get it work to work. And I was on the phone with them for hours. At one point I was on calls with two different IT guys. IT stands for information technology, I think. I was on the phone with two different IT guys on two different phones at the same time. Actually, on one on one of our computers. Actually, one of our computers had Vision Line, the key card making program working. But the tech support guy started remotely working on the computer. So he was using the computer, even though he was probably in the south of the United States of America. But uh, I could tell that by his accent, I think. Um, and he tampered around with it. And then we had neither computer able to make key cards. So the hours went by and the IT guy was working away, trying all kinds of different things, working remotely on our computers. But then it was check-in time and we didn't have our key cards made, of course. So 
So we started looking for the backup keys. There was like three of us looking for backup key cards while the guests were at the front desk trying to check in. We couldn't find them anywhere. I called my boss and I think I woke her up and I asked her where the key cards were. She told me where they were and we did end up finding them. I thought about using a video just on my cell phone. But then I had checked to see how much revenue my other videos made that I uploaded it with my, just by using my cell phone to make the video, and it wasn't much. I think it's because the videos were shorter, and my videos that are shorter tend to have a low average view duration. The average view duration of one of my videos where I winged it on my cell phone is 3 minutes and 39 seconds. It's only getting recommended by YouTube at 24.3%. Compare that to one of my pizza eating videos. That's over an hour long, where the average view duration is 15 minutes and 55 seconds. And you can see a big difference. Um, I wanted to upload a video where I just use my cell phone because I've been complimented on it. On that, that style of video, that it's a better, um, better flow from what I've seen on my channel. The longer video, the video I make is the higher, the higher the average view duration is. I guess that's because for a short video, people can watch about four minutes of it and feel that they've gotten enough value from the video and they feel that they understand what the video is about so they'll close it but for a longer video they, they won't feel they've gotten value from the video until they've watched it for over six minutes i guess because if they click off a long video at the two minute mark maybe there is a lot of cool content found in the rest of the video that they missed out on the pizza eating video is being recommended by YouTube at 77.8%. What I'm saying might surprise you as the YouTube team is working really hard to promote YouTube shorts. So why would they put so much effort into promoting YouTube shorts and super short videos if the videos aren't going to be recommended much by YouTube? But I still think that long form content is working better for me. I'm planning on doing a video soon where I eat chicken fingers and fries and don't talk. I might redo this video as a soft spoken ASMR video just to let you know. I need to buy a nose hair trimmer. My nose hairs are long and it looks bad. I keep putting it off. One of my co-workers came up to me at work and said, Do you want to join Matthew? I said yes. Marijuana is legal here in Canada. In case you don't know, a joint is marijuana that is like a cigarette. It doesn't have tobacco, but it's rolled in a piece of paper. And you can smoke it. Um... I'm not sure if I want to smoke it though, as it might affect me at work, even after I sober up, because the marijuana stays in your system. I have to do a lot of thinking at work, so I don't want to make mistakes, and I don't want something making it harder for me to think. 